Um, this is the stuff <laughs> that you need to make a rubber band bracelet. And I'm going to show you what, how to make it. First, you have to break the, a plastic fork. Bend it. You just have to bend it. And you have to take off the two ones, the two of them in the middle. But don't throw them away. And then these are the rubber bands that you're going to use. So the easiest way to do it is to put it on and then twist it and put the other side of the rubber band on. And then... Let me see. And then put two more on. And then when you have three, take the bottom one and take it off like this. Take one side off and then, then the other. So what does it look like when you're done? When you do that, it should look like this. And then you put another rubber band on. And whenever you have three rubber bands on the floor, you take the bottom one and take it off one side, and then take it off the other side like that. Let me see. And then it'll keep doing that. And then it'll slowly be made into a rubber band. Then you keep doing that. Can you hold it up? Hold, hold it up so, I can, so we can get a good look at it when it's trying to grow. Um, keep. Okay. So once you add more rubber bands, it gets longer and longer. And keep doing what you did before. And if you take, and if it falls off the fork, don't don't keep it off the fork and try to do it like that because it'll just fall apart. Try and put it back onto the fork. And keep doing what you did before and keep doing it until it gets as long as you want to. So once you uh, yeah. think it might be ready to, to tie or something to make into a bracelet, you should check it around your arm like this. And if it touches the other side, then it's ready. And the reason you should keep these is... What are these? The These are the things that you that you have to pop off of the fork before you can make the bracelet. So if you can't get a rubber band to, to, get, to do this, you use the thing and you use it to get the, to, to do this with the rubber band. Some packs come with these. They're little things that you use to put the bracelets together. Let's see that. 
Okay, a little hook shaped like an S. Mm -hmm. Plastic? Okay. And if you don't have these, you can tie it. So first, I'm going to show you how to tie it. I mean, how to use the hooks. You put the rubber band through the hook. You, you put the rubber, you put the rubber band through the hook. And then you take the rubber band off the fork carefully. And then you take, and then it should have two rubber bands in the middle of this thing. Take those two rubber bands off, but be careful when you do it to hold this like that. And then do the same thing that you did with the other side. Put the rubber bands through the hook and it's a bracelet. And now I'm going to show you how to tie it. Okay, if you don't have the plastic hooks, you just put the rubber band through the bracelet loops instead of the plastic hooks. So this is one end. You line up the two rubber band loops and you stick the rubber band that you just picked up through the two loop through the two loops at one end. So now it's looped through. And then this is the um, one you just took off the fork. You take, you put, um, you thread the rubber bands, the rubber band through the two loops that you just took off the fork. It helps if you stretch them. And then now you have the end loops through one rubber band. You have the end loops through one rubber band. And then that rubber band that you just threaded, you're going to tie it in a knot. And you probably want an adult to do this. A mommy or daddy. Mm -hmm. An Ito or an Ita. Grandma or Grandpa, and just tie it twice to make sure it doesn't come out. Oops. And pull it tight, and then that's how the two ends are connected, and then you have a bracelet. And that's it. This is what the bracelets look like when they're done. You can do it different colors, all one colors, or patterns. Bam. Stop. Say hi, Isaac. Hi, Isaac.